Tonight, we now have a clearer picture of what happened when a man jumped into the Grand River last night trying to get away from Kent County deputies. He is one of two men who are charged, accused of stealing catalytic converters. 13 on your side's Andrea Flores is here now to take us step by step through the chase. It was quite dramatic, Andrea. Yes, it was, Juliet. Now, this drone footage using thermal imaging shows us where one man jumped into the river right off West River Drive in Comstock Park. And you can follow the little dot along in the highlighted part as he swims across the river, hoping to get away from officers. One suspect in the water, swimming away from police. Dispatch clear 2051. The call came in around 8.30 Wednesday night. Basically what was happening is individuals broke into a local business, 5400 block of West River Drive. The Kent County Sheriff's Office says two men, 21-year-old Roger Davis and 39-year-old Daniel Armstrong, were trying to steal catalytic converters from a local tow company. And when police arrived on the scene, one of the suspects ran and uh, escaped into the river, which was adjacent to this area. Um, we then kind of shifted into public safety mode because we had a, a person in the river. The sheriff's office flew its drone to keep their eye on Armstrong swimming across the river. I have eyes on him in the water. You can see Armstrong swimming near the west end of the river and eventually making his way east towards the White Pine Trail. Fast forwarding a little bit, police try to gain on him in that boat. We're going to be taking a deputy with us. And police say the current was so strong that they missed him. So he took off into the woods. He may be caught up in some logs. But police caught up with him. Luckily, we were able to track the suspect down, bring him into custody safely, and, um, and additionally got one other suspect in custody um, that remained in the car. A dramatic end to the chase. We're unsure with the deputy we have the suspect in custody. With a high reward for the sheriff's office. We were able to avert some of the thefts that we believed were going to happen. Armstrong is facing drug charges and both men are facing larceny of a motor vehicle charges. And you know, we've been reporting about the increase in catalytic converters. What can we do to protect our own vehicles from that? Well, the Kent County Sheriff shared a couple tips. She says it's ideal to park your car in a well-lit area where you can keep an eye on it and park inside if you can. Good information. Thank you, Andrea.